three platforms you can use to sell your product. If you're going to be launching a product, then finding affiliates to help you is one of the best things you can do to ensure massive success. This means you are offering commission to marketers as a way to get an army of sellers help you push your product. But where do you find these sellers? In this presentation, we'll be looking at three of the best platforms for your product launch. ClickBank. ClickBank is one of the oldest and best known affiliate networks and is a great place to find potential sellers to help you spread the word. Because it is so old, it is well respected and has a large number of sellers and creators. This is great news for you and means you can quickly find the right partner to help you promote your items. JVZoo. JVZoo is slightly smaller than ClickBank, but also slightly newer. It has a more modern UI and is generally a little easier to get started with and to find your way around. This is actually the recommendation I make for most of the creators I deal with, and the same goes for you, unless you are confident to get stuck in with some more fiddly details. Both JVZoo and ClickBank will make it very easy for you to find all the materials, tools, and features you need to get your affiliate program up and running, and also to track its performance over time. This is handy as it will allow you to do things like running contests and posting leaderboards. Infusionsoft. If you are happy to get your hands a bit dirty though, then you might do better with Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft is not only an affiliate network, but also a CRM, Contract Relationship Management Program, an autoresponder, and more. In other words, you can use this as a way to create synergy between multiple aspects of your business so that you embed affiliate links into emails and manage your contacts, etc. That, of course, also makes things a little more complex, though, which is why Infusionsoft is generally recommended for the more advanced marketer. What's more is that if you're already using your own CRM or autoresponder, then some of the advanced features here may well be considered a little redundant. Of course, there are many more options out there too, such as Commission Junction and WSO Pro. Take a look around and do your research before settling on the right option for you. Five reasons why you should launch a product. Of course, any product that you release is technically going to have a product launch. But when we talk about a product launch in a marketing sense, we're talking about something rather different. We're talking countdown pages, affiliate contests, and mailing lists. And this is the best way to get people excited for a product, and thereby to maximize the number of sales you get once you go live. In this presentation, we'll look at five compelling reasons to launch your product. Number one, the first reason you should launch your product is so that you can build excitement and anticipation. This is the most obvious benefit of a launch, and it really does make a huge difference. Let your fans know that you're bringing something exciting out in the near future, and they'll start to wonder what it could be. Show them glimpses, and they'll need to know. And then when you release it, they'll want to buy it all the more. Number two, one of the best ways to promote a product online is to get press coverage, which you can get by using press releases. In order for a press release to be successful, though, it needs to pitch a story that will interest readers. A launch is just such a story, because it includes mystery and suspense, and because you can provide certain outlets with exclusive information before anyone else. Number three, the other best way to promote a product online? Find affiliates. That way you'll have an army of promoters all working with you to help you launch your item, and thereby multiplying your sales countless times over. One of the best ways to get an affiliate on board? Launch your product. Affiliates love launches, and that way you can build hype among the marketing crowd too. This is their chance to earn big. Number four, launching a product gives you the opportunity to get ideas and even funding from your audience. When you talk about a forthcoming item, that item becomes exciting and your audience wants to be involved. Thus, they will be more than happy to help you by providing ideas and potentially even by making pre-orders to help you fund the product. If you ask your audience what they'd like to see from your product, then they can give you tips to almost guarantee it becomes a bestseller. Number five, creating a product launch is a great way to give yourself instant authority. When you release a product quietly, this undermines its importance. People assume that it can't be all that exciting, or they would have heard of it. Conversely, when you launch a product and have a big build-up to that day, 
you create the sense that whatever it is you are about to release is worthy of all that pomp. It doesn't just help the product sell. It actually gives your brand a massive boost, meaning that you'll find it easier to sell future products as well. Five types of promotional materials you should create for your affiliates. Most people watching this presentation will know a little bit about internet marketing, and so, no doubt, you know how a sales funnel works. The concept is simple. You give away a little free information. Then you ask your audience to sign up for a bit more information. Then you maybe get them to pay for a little more, and that's when you promote the big ticket item. Sales funnels work wonders because they give you the opportunity to prove yourself to your market before you try and sell to them. They will have the opportunity to see what kind of value you're capable of providing, and they'll have experience of buying from you before they have to part with any large quantities of money. But when you create a product launch and you sell something through affiliates, you need to stop thinking about just yourself. You need to think about how you can help your army of sellers to have even more luck promoting your item. That will benefit them, and what benefits them benefits you. That's why it can be a great strategy to create the materials for your sales funnel and for marketing in general, and then give them to your marketers to use for free. This will not only help them sell, it will also attract more marketers to help your product to begin with. Here are five things you should consider creating for your marketers. 1. Emails. Creating a mailing list is one of the best ways to measure interest and then open a dialogue with warm leads. You can provide your marketers with a sequence of emails that will provide value and then encourage a sale. 2. Sales page. Your sales page is arguably one of the very most important tools you have when it comes to driving more sales. Most important of all is the sales copy that will persuade the reader to buy. 3. Cover art and banner. Providing some designs and artistic materials can also be very helpful. These can be used to help the audience visualize your product and imagine it, and they also make your product seem more professional. Cover art is something that a lot of people won't be able to make on their own, so it's a particularly valuable thing to include. 4. Free Report A free report is normally what acts as the incentive for people who sign up for the mailing list. This will help your marketers to build a bigger mailing list, and from there, they can then message their readers in order to tell them about your amazing product. 5. Synopsis This is something that often gets forgotten, but it's a good idea to include a synopsis for your book or a write-up for your course. This is the elevator pitch. How can you tell someone what your product is all about and then get them to buy from you there and then? 10 Product Launch Tips That Will Help You Boost Sales a product launch is a highly effective way to go live with any product idea. This will let you turn your product into an event, and that will help you draw much more attention to it and build the kind of buzz and momentum that would otherwise be impossible. But not every launch is made equal. It's all about how you launch. With that in mind, we're going to look at 10 product launch tips that you can use to ensure your launch is even bigger. Grab a pen. One. Launch a product that is exciting and different. A product that is exciting and different will be much easier to build interest and intrigue around. Why should people care about this product? 2. Launch a product with a high value proposition. In other words, how does your product change lives? 3. Make sure your product is genuinely great quality. A few bad reviews can stop your product launch dead in its tracks. 4. Give yourself time to test your funnel. Make sure that the checkout works and all your links work, etc., before you take your product live. 5. Run a contest for your affiliates. Your product launch is an exciting event for your affiliates, too. Or at least it should be. Get them involved and encourage some competition by offering a cash prize for the most sales. 6. Remember AIDA. AIDA stands for Awareness, Interest, Desire, Action. Take your audience through these steps to make conversations. 7. Tease your audience. Long before you announce your product, you can tease your audience by letting them know that something exciting is coming. 8. 
Create a Countdown Page. This is a great way to build palpable excitement, and especially if you make this your email squeeze page. 9. Add lots of extras to your product. Make your product more enticing by including as many extras as you can, whether that means video materials, mind maps, or membership to a forum. 10. Watch other successful launches. There have been tons of high-profile internet marketing launches. Take a look at some of these historical examples and see what they did right that you can emulate. Let that be your blueprint. Follow these tips and you should stand a much better chance of making a real splash when you announce your product. The rest is about hard work. How to get affiliates to promote your launch. In this presentation, we'll be looking at one of the most important aspects of promoting a product launch, finding affiliates. Affiliates are marketers that will promote your product on your behalf in exchange for commission. Get this right and you can build an army of affiliates all helping you to push your product and multiply your sales many times over. But how do you get affiliates involved? Step 1. Sign up for an account at JVZoo, ClickBank, or Infusionsoft. These are affiliate marketing platforms that allow you to find affiliates and to set up affiliate URLs. You'll be able to use these sites not only to network with partners, but also to set up the actual process and see how other product creators have handled the process. Step 2. Provide free materials. This might mean that you give away ready-made sales pages, or it might mean that you provide email swipes, or both. Either way, if you create some ready-made materials for your affiliates, then you save them work and thereby make your product all the more appealing to promote. Of course, this also means you'll gain more control over the way that your affiliates are representing your brand and hopefully helping them to make even more sales. That's what we call a win-win. Step 3. Offer a high commission. Yes, I know it's nerve-wracking to offer more than 50% of your revenue to someone who didn't have any hand in the product creation. But think, these are all sales on top of the sales you make. This is money for nothing, and you want to encourage it at any cost. It's better to earn 30% from 1,000 sales than 100% from 3 sales. Step 4. Have an affiliate page. It's a good idea to create an affiliate page right on your website. This way, affiliates can stay up to date with developments and see when you're going live, etc. At the same time, this will also inform visitors that they too can become affiliates if they should so want. This will help you attract even more sellers to help you spread the word. Step 5. Run a contest. The most important tip of all when it comes to getting more people involved in your product launch is to run a contest. This means you'll be keeping track of which affiliates are selling the most, and maybe even making a leaderboard. Either way, you'll then reward the very top sellers with a prize, normally a cash prize, and this will act as a powerful incentive. They'll have a chance to earn directly from the sales and to earn more on top. Step 6. Choose your price wisely. Just as you need to offer a high commission, you also need to think of the retail price of your product, too. If your product is overpriced, then affiliates will know that no one is going to buy it. If it's underpriced, then it won't be worth their time. Step 7. Make an amazing product. At the end of the day, though, the most important strategy is just to make an amazing product. Make something that people can get really excited about selling and that will be easy to promote. When looking at your item, affiliates are going to imagine how they would promote it and sell it. If it is low quality, then they are not going to see the opportunities and they'll look for another product to promote instead. Hope you wrote some of those tips down. Finding affiliates is one of the best things you can do to maximize your sales. Happy marketing! How to guarantee your product launch will be a massive success. This presentation is one of the most important for any product launch. Make sure you're concentrating for this one. It can be nerve-wracking launching a product, as you are putting a lot of time, effort, and money into something that can potentially fall flat. When you sell a product without a high-profile launch, no one will notice if it isn't a hit. That, and you'll be able to keep changing your strategy to help sell it. When you launch a product, though, you're going out on a limb, 
and potentially you could find yourself very disappointed on launch day. That's all part of business, right? Wrong. Smart business means taking measured risks and stacking the odds in your favor. And when it comes to selling products, we do this using a strategy called verification. You need to verify your product idea before you go live, meaning that you're going to ensure you have proof that people will buy it before you start pushing it. How can you do that? Simple. Ask your audience. This might mean taking pre-orders, but it can just as easily mean making a poll. If it's an ebook, then how about letting your regular visitors vote on the topics that they want to see? By doing this, you are getting feedback and you can then set out and make the product that they told you to make. That makes a foolproof method for earning an income. But it's even better if you can get your audience to put their money where their mouths are. If you take pre-orders for items, then you can go ahead knowing that you will at least break even and thereby removing any and all risk from the equation. How to warm up and excite your audience about your product launch. To be good at selling is essentially to be good at persuasion. You have your product and now your job is to persuade people that it is worth buying. Using a product launch is one way to do this, but in this presentation we'll look at why what comes before is just as important. In psychology, there is a relatively new term called persuasion. As the name perhaps suggests, this is the art of persuading someone with what you do before you actually go in for the hard sell. It's about priming their mood and making sure that they're in the right state of mind before you pitch. And this might actually be more important than the pitch itself. If we were to apply this to the process of launching a product, then this would first tell us how important it is to build a strong brand and to build trust and authority prior to going live. This is the backbone of content marketing. You need to make sure that you are making a strong impression on your audience so that when you have something to sell, they'll be interested in buying from you. Once you have earned that trust and you're seen as an authority, another good strategy is to start building some interest early on. The best way to do that? Become a tease. This means you're going to mention that you have something big coming up and something that they should get excited for. Long before you even announce that you're releasing something, talk about your exciting passion project or the book you're working on that will change everything. Make it exciting and shroud it in mystery. Then, when it comes to the announcement, your audience will already be sold. Top 5 Tools for Your Sales Page This presentation is going to outline five important tools you can use to build your sales page and bring in sales. WordPress. WordPress is the web's most popular content management tool and website builder. This makes it far easier to build a website and it is used by many of the biggest brands on the net. It's free too and works with many of the plugins we're going to describe. So there's no reason not to use it. You'd just be making life harder for yourself. Optimize Press. Optimize Press lets you add a theme to your WordPress site that is designed for selling. It turns a regular blog into a sales page that looks professional, gains trust, and converts highly. Deadline Funnel Deadline Funnel is another tool specifically intended for creating a sales page. This lets you add a number of useful features, and in particular, a countdown timer that will create a lot more urgency. You can sync this timer across emails and other materials, too. Aweber Aweber is an autoresponder, meaning that you can use it to collect emails using an opt-in form and then send them out in an automated fashion. This will be required for any email marketing campaign, which should go hand-in-hand -hand with any sales page. Other options include GetResponse and MailChimp, either of which will also offer all the basic features you need. PayPal. It won't be much of a sales page if you're not able to take payment, and so a PayPal account and a button that you can use to sell from is an absolute must. If you're going to be getting a massive influx of orders, it can also be a good idea to let PayPal know, just to ensure that your account isn't frozen for a suspicious activity, etc. We can live in hope. Why your product launch needs a pre-launch and a post-launch. If you're launching a product, then you absolutely need a pre-launch and a post-launch phase to bookend it. This simple strategy can help you create a buzz, 
grow anticipation, and ensure that you maximize the momentum that you build. But you'll be even more successful if you also incorporate a pre and post phase. In this presentation, we'll look at why you need a pre and post launch phase and at precisely how it's going to transform the way you sell your products. Think about big companies like Apple. They don't just release their phones into stores without any pomp or ceremony. They turn them into huge events and invite the media and their fans to speculate as they drip feed them with details. This builds the anticipation for the product to fever pitch so that when it does launch, everyone goes mad for it. You know the very best way to get people wanting your product? Tell them they can't have it. Yet. But the practical benefits of a pre-launch go beyond simply building hype. For instance, a pre-launch phase can be an excellent way to get more affiliate marketers on board. Affiliates love product launches because they know they can use the opportunity to build more buyers, too. At the same time, this gives you time to get out and recruit those sellers, and it turns it into an event for them as well. A product launch can be used to crowdsource ideas and ask your audience what they'd like to see in their products. In fact, you can even use a pre-launch phase as an opportunity to raise funds via pre-orders. That way, you can break even before you even go live. So how about a post-launch? What's all that about? A post-launch is, of course, what comes after your launch, and it gives you the perfect opportunity to take stock of what happened, to assess your metrics, and to look at what you could do to improve on future launches. In short, this allows you to learn from your mistakes so that you can be more successful next time. It's also a great opportunity to build even more interest for your current product line or future product line. People who missed out on your launch are going to be disappointed, and that's an emotion you can turn into sales. Let them know that another chance is coming soon. How to use social media to spread the word about your launch. A product launch is an excellent way to build massive buzz and excitement around a product and to encourage many, many more sales as a result. And if you combine that product launch with savvy use of social media, then the results can be really rather amazing. In this presentation, we'll look at exactly how you can do that and how you can leverage the power of Facebook and Twitter to great effect. Prep and Pickup One tip is to use the strategy called Prep and Pickup. That is to say that you should prepare all of your marketing materials in advance of going live with your product. You can do this on social media by writing all your posts and status updates and then adding them to Buffer. This will let you schedule your posts to coincide with the stages of your launch, even letting you update your audience with a live countdown. Stream. Don't forget the streaming sites like Periscope or Meerkat, and especially now that Facebook is in on the act too. You can use live video to answer questions and to run small events that will get your audience a buzz. Work with influencers. Studies show that working with social media influencers is actually more lucrative from a marketing standpoint, even than getting an advert on television. That's amazing news for us, as it means we can be just as successful with our internet marketing as big companies are with their own product launches. Find influencers with your niche, approach them, and then get them to help you promote your item. Use images. Instagram is one of the most powerful platforms for building hype about a launch. Why? Because it lets you show actual imagery of your item, or of you working on it. Making your product seem tangible, even if it is a digital product, will make it all the more desirable. Communicate. Don't forget what Facebook and Twitter were originally built for. Communication. Let your audience ask questions, and ask them questions. What would they like to see in the product? Would they buy X? Should they name it? The more involved they are, the more they'll want the end product. Run contests. Finally, don't forget to run contests. How about a free copy for anyone who can refer 30 likes or emails? You don't need me to tell you why this is a great strategy. 